seated positions mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna play it out I'm gonna change how it show how the teeth will align mm -hmm. gradually just like that and then the final stage will look like this how it nicely align them to for our teeth to go back and mm -hmm. relax. right so my problem was mine i didn't keep the retainers on right. very long yeah so, so if you lose it um, no don't worry we have it we can make it hey fam good morning good afternoon good evening good night i am currently in the aspen dental office i may have mentioned to you guys that i'm going to be having my invisible well, their moto retainers and not invisible so i'm having my teeth straightened and I will be filming part of the demonstration as to how my teeth are going to look once they're in alignment. Very, very excited. Um, they're saying that it should take about 14 weeks. I'm going to get multiple retainers that I'll have to replace or change out every couple of weeks, every week, week to two weeks. And then I'm gonna have straight teeth. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, guys, it's Friday, July the 4th weekend, so July the 4th is Tuesday. I have to work on Monday, but I'm going to try to work as little as possible. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you a little later. Oh, actually, let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm using my pocket too, and I have one that face tracking, which I absolutely love. So every time I move, it adjusts to follow my face I love this about this camera so good and it moves very very smoothly like there's no jerky jerky movements and it does really well when it comes to vlogging especially if you're moving fast this stuff is from Zara I've had this for about maybe three or more years I love this particular top because it has this dramatic look to it with these frills on the shoulders and this is a very simple top, but it's just this added drama makes it look like it's probably even way more expensive than it was. I think I paid like $25 for it at the time. And the pants is by Free People. I'm wearing my Da Vinci sandals. I haven't worn these in a long time, but they're very comfortable shoes. Just that they're a little big for me, so I sometimes feel like when I'm walking, I have to like grip so that they stay on my foot <laughs> so I'm not doing a lot of walking today and this is my white flower I, I added my leather string to tie it around my neck and I may have mentioned this in previous videos that these were purchased from Amazon I bought like maybe 15 of them in different colors so I love how it just all came together wearing my thin dashi earring my butterfly earring from Zara I always wear these together I feel that the combination just works and um, what else just multiple rings my cuff also from Zara so in addition my favorite bag which I absolutely love this is my new addition to my bag collection guys I've become a bag lady clearly so this is by Teddy Blake this is the Lola Palmetto in 12 inch in the yellow. Now it comes in various colors. 12 inches is perfect for me to take to work. It is not too big. It's not too small. So my laptop fits in here. Actually, I take my work laptop to work as well as my iPad. So I currently have my iPad in here. That fits perfectly. But I also carry my laptop for work in here. I have it behind me and it fits perfectly in this bag. It slides in perfectly. If you walk with your laptop every day like I do, then this is the perfect addition to your bag collection for the summer. I love bright colors, it doesn't matter what season it is. But when I saw this, I immediately knew this was the perfect bag. Teddy Blake's bags are so good. They are high quality, they are luxury bags, but at the fraction of the cost of most luxury brands. So they're making them with the same green leathers, same quality, same attention to detail. You're just paying less. And I love that for myself. I love it for me. 
and I love it for Teddy Blake. I hope that they continue to keep their prices affordable for people like myself who cannot afford to shell out thousands and thousands of dollars on bags on a regular basis. Now that I am aware of who they are and the quality of their pieces, I will continue to shop with them. Hey there fam. So this is Sunday, July 2nd and I'm heading to the Nike store. I actually am working with them and I have to go pick up some sneakers. They have a huge sale that's coming up and I need to get the sneakers so that I can post in time before the sale actually starts. And I was trying to order the things online, but unfortunately the shipping is taking a little longer and I would probably get them after the date of the sale. So I don't want to risk it. So Jay and I, we are heading up to Nike on Fifth Avenue. That's their main, the main store, right? Is that what you call it? But anyhow, the, the, the lead store, head store. That's where I'm heading to. Try to find me some sneakers. I'm going to take you guys along. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, but this hat, I got this from a black owned um, store. It's here in Brooklyn. I think it's called Franklin Makers, but I'll put the name on the screen for you. They have like a collection of different black owned brands that are sold there. And you can find literally everything in that store if you go there. From candles to perfumes to clothing, like even um, home decor. It's beautiful, beautiful pieces, unique pieces as well. Stuff that you probably wouldn't find elsewhere. I've had this for a long time this is by free people and the cuff is Zara's I'm wearing my Fendashi earrings and my Zara earrings I tied my Gucci scarf on my head because sometimes I feel like I need a little extra for some of my hats like this hat is just a little bit oversized I probably could have even doubled up the scarf a little bit more but just so that the, the hat stays on my head better because sometimes it tends to fall off this um necklace this is um gifted from jay i like to tie it like this like a choker that hangs i really love to do that and my tooth um bracelet that's i wear these literally every day <laughs> and let me show you i'm also wearing my gucci platform sneakers i don't get to wear these enough i actually forget that i have them sometimes but i thought that this would have been a perfect um shoe to wear with this look i'll show you and i cut away the full look this brand, Brameen, is a luxury brand, but their pieces are much more affordable than most other labels. It's so good. It's so good. I really wanted another round bag, and I find that the whole ge geometrical um, shapes are such a vibe right now. So squares and triangles, rectangles, um, circles, they're all a vibe right now. So this is the full look. My sneakers. These are actually leather sneakers. These super high platforms. I love these so, so much. I wore the dress um, slightly different now. Rather than buttoning it the way it's meant to be, I gave it like an asymmetrical um, a button look. <laughs> so I just gathered up some of the button holes and I buttoned them to the higher sections and kind of brought the dress up a little shorter as well which i thought looked a little better with this sneak. hey fam so headed to nike to pick up some shoes can't remember if i told you guys that i'm working on nike but maybe i have 
and um, just found out that the reason why the shipment would take so long to reach is because the sneakers are I'm trying to get our customizable sneakers and unfortunately they don't sell in stores but we're gonna still go um, I'm gonna try to find at least find my a pair that I could work in which I do need so it looks like I'll have to wait on the others to come I have a headache I'm hungry and tired too I think but then I had my um, my scarf tied really really tight to the point where it left a mark on my forehead everybody no wonder I have a headache in 1000 feet use the right lane to turn right on south <laughs> afternoon good evening good night depending on the time that you are watching this video welcome back to my channel my name is Gloria also known as life of glory B I want to say a warm welcome to any of you who are new here welcome to the fam thank you so much for clicking on my video if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet please do subscribe especially if you're interested in creative fashion ideas as well as unique pieces today i'm actually taking you through the last weekend july 4th weekend and wrapping it up by showing you guys some pieces that i got in from zara and maybe one other item one or two other items one of these items is what i'm wearing currently now i should have shown you guys this since a week or two ago for those who are usually watching, you know that I visited a couple thrift stores recently and I went back to one of these thrift stores last week and I actually donated some pieces and also sold some pieces. I'm trying to just reduce all the clutter that I currently have in my wardrobe. This thrift store is located in Williamsburg. It is called Monk. Now when I went there the first time, I wasn't aware that they had like a whole second floor. So the footage that I got was just on the first floor which is the top floor and then they do have a basement so it looked pretty small when I went there surprisingly when I went back to donate some pieces I found out that they had a whole bigger floor in their basement full of other items so I want to go back there and check it out again very very soon but I managed to pick up this beautiful fringed detailed dress that I absolutely love guys this is such a stunning piece now it's very evening elegant type of look but i can also dress this now if i wanted to and lately we are wearing all of our clothing wherever we want to wear them so if i wanted to make this uh less dressy and more casual i will throw on a pair of sandals or sneakers uh maybe carry like a crossbody bag or something and really make this a casual look i played with the pink in the dress but i also wanted to add a little bit of bling so i added my amazon earrings and my pink bold shoes that i got from simi the sequin bag is by garrett 
I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. But I'll put that name on the screen for you. And I've had this bag since last winter. Absolutely love it. And I feel like I want to wear it so much more. I never quite got to wear it enough last year. And I got it very late in the winter though. I really love how the dress fits. It's pretty short. But because of the added fringe around the bottom, it doesn't appear to be as short as it is. But if you had to remove the fringe, you would see that it comes about mid-thigh. I love the opening in the back that open detail i'm a back girl if the back is exposed i want it period so i picked up this dress not realizing that the back was opened as much as it was until i put it on i said oh okay i bought it because of the fringe because i just love anything with fringes but that just took it up an extra notch for me love that open detail in the back the only thing i would have changed about this dress would be here you see this nudie color that they have at the top maybe this would suit someone with a lighter complexion or it would look better on someone with a lighter complexion i feel like if they had the same light pink instead of this very taupey um, blushy color here or even the brighter pink i would have loved it even more now i don't know if it's worth the trouble of me detaching this and recreating the top in a color that i like but i would consider it it's a really beautiful dress i love the movement the minute i put it on that's what i was doing i was shimmying i actually did a little jig <laughs> and i styled this dress twice I think I styled it exactly the same way both times. So today I wanted to create a reel with a bunch of pink pieces that I have. So I restyled it just a little bit. Dress is just serving, period. If you have beautiful legs, this dress is for you guys. Show those girls off and just strut, sashay, and let those fringes speak for themselves. These sunglasses I got from Free People about four years or more ago. And every time I wear these glasses, someone wants them. And unfortunately, there isn't a link for these. If I can find something similar, I will leave those in the description box for you. But I absolutely love them. They were very, very um, reasonably priced. I think I paid like 20 or 25 dollars for them, which is on average the price of some glasses that you purchase from three people. I like that I can wear them indoors, but like, like they don't conceal your eyes. So I like the fact that I can wear them indoors and people can still see my eyes. They're the perfect indoor sunglasses. I had to put the mic down so that I can show you these other two pieces. Now you've already seen this. This is the skirt that I wore with the yellow top, top the Zara top that I dyed in yellow. Some of you may have already seen this on Instagram. It comes with this dress that comes to just above the knee. So it's like a bodycon dress that has all this beautiful ruching and a strip of pink in the middle. I love the way this fits you don't need much when you wear this dress just a nice pair of heels a statement bag maybe a, like a choker or a very fine um a fine necklace with a pendant doesn't need a lot it's a beautiful dress i love that i can get so much wear from these two pieces these are from pinko i would have mentioned these in a previous video but just in case you forgot this set is from pinko i got these from 260 sample sale so i've had these for months guys while I was in Barbados, I actually saw that 260 sample sale had these on sale and I picked up these along with a few other things that you would have seen already. I would have shown you this green Zara top before and I styled this just recently. This beautiful skirt that I picked up from AliExpress. That's right guys, AliExpress. You guys have seen my Buffelli bags that I got from AliExpress. And they're from a Chinese brand that sells luxury bags, all leather. Now, I saw this when I went to get those bags and could not leave it. I absolutely love it. Super, super sexy, but yet not too sexy. So it comes about a couple inches up above the knees, so not too short. Love this detailing in the front with that corset look. With, and then in the the garter belts hanging down both in front and the back. I love how the two pair together. I've seen more than one luxury designer label feature something similar to this. One of the brands I can remember is Dion Lee. I think that's the name. I'll put that name on the screen for you. I thought this skirt, their skirt, 
for about 600 and some change. So on average, a very similar skirt from a designer label is selling for several times more than this. And this looks so good. I could not believe I would be able to get this from AliExpress. When I think about fast fashion, I know you may not get quality pieces, but this to me is made very, very well. I paid probably like $30 or less for this skirt. I, I, I couldn't be more pleased. Absolutely love it. And I've been seeing the original one that this is the dupe to around for a while and always said I would love to get one like it, but I knew I wasn't going to be spending that type of money. So and this guy's, it's a close second. So these two pieces, I went with silver accessories. In fact, a little bit of bling. I actually wore a head piece like a choker. So I wrapped it around my neck. And I held it together with my <laughs> hair ties, the one that I put in my hair, and it looked amazing, guys. I also wore a bracelet that I had for many, many years with similar earrings that kind of matches the bracelet. And the bracelet actually looks very similar to this one. This is these are both very old, and I got the the I got the set and this from Aldo's at the time. Aldo's have some beautiful, beautiful jewelry i picked up this skirt in a size medium i usually would have go for a small but recently I, I put on a little bit of weight but i think that a small would have fit just fine because it does have a lot of stretch the waist has room if i wanted to i can make these ears slacker but i actually was able to pull it all the way in without having to needing any extra room but it has a little piece of fabric on the inside that you can actually get yourself some more room if you wanted to for shoes i went for my pvc shoes by shoots love those shoes i tell you i'm going to wear them until they like fall apart because they just go with so many things very easy just brought everything together next new item from zara's is this beautiful skirt now this skirt it, it doesn't look like much when it's just hung up like this Hey fam, a few days ago I went into Zara's and I promised you guys I would come back and show you what I got. This beautiful skirt with this fringe detail at the side. Decided to pair it with another Zara piece which is this beautiful bold detail top. I got this last year I think or maybe even the year before. I'm actually happy that I went into Zara's that day because I didn't know that I needed this skirt. But once I tried it on... It was exactly what I needed to add to my wardrobe. For accessories, I'm wearing this choker. It says Amour. This is by Shein. The earrings are from Amazon. And I'm wearing <laughs> two earrings that I also picked up from Amazon. And I decided to wear them like bracelets. If I can wear something multiple ways, it's a go for me. For shoes, I am wearing my shoots heels. So this bag is by Brahmin. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But I'll put the name up on the screen for you guys. And actually, I will also tag the brand. I absolutely love this bag, guys. Though the hardware is gold and not silver, it just ties in beautifully with the entire look. This black dress, guys. The perfect cocktail dress okay so i went all out with this one well almost all out i actually had on some um gloves up to my elbow that had some feathers on the end and i took them off and i also <laughs> i also had on a fascinator but i wanted to make this more like an evening look so this dress is the second item from zara's it's meant to just drop and flow but in honor of doing the most i added my crinoline skirt under the bottom the top is a little too big for me so i actually have it pinned in the back necklace is a flower these flowers i purchased from amazon i created it by adding a string tied it around the neck and then the sequined trimming this trimming i purchased from a store and i oftentimes tie it like this around my neck to be a choker but then it hangs down in the back shoes also from zara's and they're so comfortable guys bag is actually a jewelry box 
the perfect little evening bag shaped like a heart. Recently saying that everyone needs to get some crinoline in their wardrobe. The skirt, when I put it on without the crinoline, it just dropped. So I like to do stuff like this shape just to create some more shape. I really, really love this look. Tell me what you guys think. There's so many ways that you can get creative and I'm always here for it. Anything that I can do that is slightly different or very different to what someone else is doing, I'm going to try to do it. So I don't know why, but literally everything that called to me was black or white. I'm going to make to Zara's. This is by far my favorite. This stop is everything. If there was nothing else I was going to buy, it was going to be this one. So I've paired it with this pant that is an H&M times Lee jeans that I upcycled by adding the extra P panel in the side. The fabric that I use has stretch and I need to replace it with a fabric that does not have stretch because you need something that's stiff that does not fold or bend when you move. So I'm going to replace this with um, a hard fabric. I love that it creates shape with the ruching in the side and then with, and with the pleating, almost like a peplum hem, but it's not quite. It's just the way they draped the fabric. Also has straps that should be tied as a halter neck, but I prefer a regular strap to a halter neck. All right, let me show you what it looks like with the straps, without the straps. So you can see it sits up on me. It's not falling. It's not moving around. So it fits me pretty snug. This is a size medium. And I know that if I had picked up a size small, it would have cinched me in more in the waist, but then I would not have had the room in the bust area. So. I, I'm telling you, if you were able to get this top, you did good. You did good. Really love how it fits. I picked this up in a medium and it fits perfectly, guys. If I had it in a small, it would have cinched me in at the waist a little bit more. But I think I would have been a little challenged in the boob area. Finally, I paired the look with this beautiful bag by Teddy Blake. This is the Lola Camaletto bag in yellow. I like to call it Canary Yellow because that's what it reminds me of. It's such a beautiful bag, guys. Now, for those of you who do not know or have never heard about Teddy Blake, like, where are you? Teddy Blake is a luxury brand that offers beautiful quality made item for less. These bags are made in Italy. It is genuine leather, handcrafted by some of the best artisans. We are basically getting the same high quality bags for a fraction of the cost. So instead of spending one to two thousand dollars or more on another luxury brand, you can save by spending a fraction of the cost and getting the same high quality pieces guys i don't know about y'all but i've made a decision not to spend excessively anymore like especially when it comes to designer pieces i intend that if, if i'm gonna buy a designer piece it has, it has to be highly discounted or i'll find something very similar with the same quality and this is what you will get with teddy Bay. I love this bag so much. Since I've gotten this bag, so many people have stopped and asked me about it. And when I tell you the quality, the way it's made, the roominess of it, the versatility of it, it has um, a crossbody strap in case you wanted to carry it crossbody as well. So you already know just by the touch alone that this is a quality bag. I love this so much. Expect to see me with this over and over and over again because i'm i've been grabbing it every time almost every time i go out now this is the bag that i've been taking to work with me but i've been carrying it on weekends as well because i just find that it's so easy it has a perfect type of pockets on the inside for me to like just drop my wallet in or to just separate things out i actually took it with me to the dentist the other now, day. i'm not knocking anyone for spending more on luxury pieces i mean it's your money you do with it what you will but one of the things that i realized is that i myself was like falling into a trap of just wanting to have something that had like a specific name whether it doesn't matter what that name is but i just wanted to have that particular name label on my pieces because it was the thing to, to do, like that's what everyone else was doing, that's what other influencers or content creators were, were buying and wearing. 
And I fell into a trap where I was picking up things that I'm not even reaching for anymore. The things that I'm reaching for are actually so much more affordable. So it, it, that that thing or that item at that point in time was catchy, but when I think about the cost for wear, I feel like I've just wasted money. So I am not just jumping on the buy and buy again just because everyone else is doing something. I'm going to be purchasing something because I truly, really, truly, truly want it and I think it's worth it. For me. I have to truly know that I'm going to get cost for wear. So right now, I'm actually thinking of reselling some of the pieces that I have, some designer pieces, and replacing those items with things that I know I really want to have in my wardrobe and not just have because other people are you know, wearing them. One of the things that I, I can tell you that I bought recently, and not that recently, maybe like two years ago, is my Bottega heels. When I saw the Bottega heels, they were like everywhere. And I wanted them because everyone else was wearing them. I didn't want them because I felt like, or oh, must have them. I wanted them because everyone else was wearing them. I got the shoes and I probably wore them twice. They're still in there in the box, almost like they've never been worn. So these are the things that I want to avoid doing. I don't, I like quality pieces. I like luxury pieces. But if I can save on them, or if I can find something that is very similar, that is still good quality, that's what I'm going to do. I am no longer going to follow pattern. That's what we used to say back home. If you're a Beijing, you know what I'm talking about. We call it follow pattern. So like if someone has something, you must have it. I think that we all must find our own unique way of presenting ourselves. Find our own way of styling. Come up with your own ideas sometimes. It's okay to get some in, some inspiration from someone, but when we just try to copy everything a person has, it doesn't mean that it's going to be reflected in the same way, or it doesn't mean that we're gonna like it as much, like, like I did. I thought I, you know. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm going off topic. This, my friends, is the end of the video. I will leave links to this beautiful bag in the description box. I don't know yet. I may have a discount code for you as well for Teddy Blake, but I've worked with the brand before. They have some beautiful, rich colors. Guys, you know how much I love color. And they have a ton of beautiful colors to choose from. So I'll leave links to those as well. And if there's a discount code for you, that will be in the description box. Guys, I thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me go sit in front of the AC for a second and cool down. I am so hot. I'm also gonna go grab a popsicle from the fridge because this is the kind of weather that it calls for ice cream or popsicle. It's like 90 degrees, i am tell you. I don't know how you guys are doing it right now, but I pray for those of you who are outside, working outside, or if you're working somewhere that doesn't have like the proper air, this is this is not fun. And I love the heat, guys. I mean, I'm a tropical bird. I was born in Barbados. I grew up in the hot Caribbean sun. But this humidity is just it's just different. All right. Again, if you're you're here for the first time, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to click that subscription button and the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future videos. And for all of my OGs, again, thanks for all of your love and your support. I love you guys so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.